important to start the day. And um, you know, sometimes we get carried away with the emotions of like whether we work, especially work, college, uni. I've got this assignment to do. In the in the shower while you're showering, pray to God. God hears you no matter where you are. But I think sometimes when you're growing up. Maybe you've been always taught you must kneel down, you must, you know, you have to be in a certain setting. Yeah, there's a time and a place for that. But I think at, during this week, that's just been the main focus. You've got to pray, trust, and just let go. So don't, so let go and just let God. Amen. Just take control. That's my testimony for you. Amen. Amen. That's it. Amen. That's it. That's my belief. Trust, simple, and let go. Let go, let go, let God. What did you say? So pray, trust, and let, let, go, and let go, and let God. Yeah. Let go. Amen. Amen. David, you've just come in. <laughs> um, we're just basically encouraging each other, sharing. Well, so today's just different. Just sharing. Toby just shared with us a testimony. Have any of you ever thought of meeting outside? Where does it mean? Not today. That means we get dark tans. I'm not sure I'm ready for that yet. <laughs> <laughs> SPF, I told you guys. <laughs> um, can I, to, add, <laughs> to add to just what Toby said, mm -hmm. I remember when we were praying, my mum I think shared this testimony one time, um, Thanksgiving, that I think it was Friday and we heard that my aunt was in hospital and she was, like, she was bleeding, bleeding she just had a surgery and she was bleeding and they said there was 90% chance that she was going to die 90% and we, we just didn't know what to do because it, it was uh, well it's cancer so it's it was just you know when something hits you because you know that maybe your aunt has passed away it was cancer your granddad my granddad passed gone, away yeah. my grandma passed away and it was just within a few months and it was like we've just had enough like but you you can't you can't just give up you know you can't just give up and what does toby just what toby just said just reminded me to just pray just trust god it doesn't matter you know the devil will say you've been through the situation before you know you know how things go but you just continue to pray just trust god and what pastor reminded me it's so simple and it's in the bible as well that don't just pray but believe because like you know i think i was praying and i felt god as well toby saying you've prayed mm -hmm. you, you've you've done it you've prayed but you keep praying you keep praying now it's time for you to believe and we had to do that and we had to believe with doctors you know saying saying the worst kind of things and it was so painful because as a family we're thinking wow like god this we're only in wait it was in march i think april march i was like god we're only in april but just so much has happened and to god be the to god be the glory my aunt is at home right now and she's she's healing and we're believing god for complete healing so i just wanted to add that to toby that just pray and believe god will do it amen, amen. anyone else what testimonies Anything. Just, just, just encouragement, you know, <coughs> be this week, last week, last month, any time, a word of encouragement that's obviously helped you. Okay, I like, to, sorry, so, so you, did you not okay. <laughs> um, One thing I've learned, I'm still learning, is to confess things mm. which I've written to mm. myself. Mm. So I don't just read it. I believe it, yes, but by actually confessing, mm. I will not die. Jesus. Amen. Amen. It will not, even though everyone fails, I will not fail unless the Lord has a better plan. Amen. My end will be better than my beginning. Amen. Confess it. I'm easily distracted. Like a cat. Like a cat. I'm easily distracted. I look at the anyway. To confess things, mm -hmm. um, even though things look contrary, yeah. things don't seem to be the way it works. Mm -hmm. Yes, and in the line of work I do, I need to do that. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to. What say, do you do, by the way, David? I work as a contractor. So I work, I don't work for a company on a permanent basis. Mm -hmm. It ends and then they kick me out. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> like a cat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> on the streets, you know, begging for it. Oh, like, no. Begging Jesus. <laughs> See, yeah, that's the thing. You have to confess these things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so my work is not, you know, it's not safe. It's not a safe job. I don't know where my next job will come from. Mm -hmm. But anyway, you don't need to be doing what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. okay, I mean, for, it's for everything. Yeah. For anything and everything. You have to, I'm learning this myself. You have to confess. I want mm -hmm. you to confess. Confess the promises of God and then the Bible. There are lots of them. Mm. There are a lot of them. One, one which I've been reading over the past six months is Psalms 50, verse 15. Mm. Call unto me in the day of trouble, and mm. I will deliver you. Amen. And Psalm um, 91, verse 14. Mm. So, because he has known my name, I'll set him on high. See, I confess, mm. not us reading it, and by confessing it, it forces me to think about it. Yeah. Yes, when I'm walking to work, when I'm in the shower, Mm. Yeah, and that's it. See, and I believe it. It all ties in together. Yeah, so that's all I have to say. But I'm still distracted. But, <laughs> the Bible says, encourage yourself with it. Where do you open it? I I, conf I confess it openly yeah. in my mouth. Yeah. I, don't, I don't just you know think about it. So yeah, maybe um, I keep saying it mm. routinely, even though things may not look. And I'll tell you this. Uh, even before doing this. And now, even much more so, things have happened where they've not been. Um, it's, it's, the breakthroughs have come in a way which I didn't expect. I'll give mm. you a very simple example. Let's Stefan is looking for funding for this project. Mm. Yeah, and let's say he's got two sources of funding, which he, which he has. And he's not sure which one to pick. Now, you might think these are my only sources, and that there may be a deadline. You might think these are my only sources. Okay, so I have to pick one of them. And possibly those two sources could actually pull out. They could actually decide not to even fund you. Mm. So to the human mind, there's no other way. <laughs> That's it. And then suddenly, out of the blue, comes a way. Mm. When you read the story of Gideon, Jesus said, no, God said there are 32,000 men that mm. Gideon had, but there were too many. Because if they had won, they would say, no, it's, it's, we did it in our own might and strength. So God asked Gideon to, you know, he, he reduced them to 300. Mm. So that if, when they won, they would know that I wasn't the other. That's what I mean, practical examples. Mm. Amen. And she's called faith. So that's Amen. <laughs> Toby, you name um, your daughters prophetically. Faith, faith. <laughs> I've been thinking of, of something to say. I just feel like I've got a cloud of things to say. Well, I was trying to think. Um, God is faithful because um, sometimes as we go through things, I, I like helping people. Mm. I like that if I've been through a challenge or a period of tough period of time where there have been difficult things to solve, but I had to trust God and God will got me through, I want that to mean something for somebody else in yeah. terms of how can I help somebody else. I don't want just this to be for me mm. where God you have come through thank you I'm worshipping you but what about somebody else yeah. what I've learned in the process somebody else can gain from that so mm. that's what makes me feel um, good that's mm. what makes me happy mm. so then because um, in this year and last year I've been through uh, different things and then and then I've been praying to God God, let this mean something for somebody else. Yeah. And then he brings people mm. with um, the same issue. Mm. And it's different types of issues. And then he brings them to me. And I hear words from the Holy Spirit. He gives me utterances. Mm. So I will speak and I know this is from God. And he will touch them. And then they will just... Sometimes I don't know what I'm saying. Mm. But after maybe even a few months, they will say, you know, when I spoke to you that time, really spoke to my spirit wow. and I'm grateful to God because I know what I go through yeah. is not uh, in vain mm. it can um, be a seed to help somebody else and that's Amen. what makes me happy and there's one there's scripture that says um, uh, all things work for the good Amen. The Lord 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 of God. God. according God. to his Amen. and one thing that came to me in this process is that 
what you want for the good for those who are called upon and so we were like, bro, I put this purpose, yeah? Yeah. That's not just me. Mm. It's not just for me that works for the good while I go through. It's also for the next person who yeah. needs to hear from God. Amen. So, yeah, that's, that's my own. Amen. That's great. Amen.